What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I see we've hit 6,000 subscribers, which is again, crazy to me. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about how I'm able to finish my paintings in less than two hours. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram recently, you, you would have seen that. Um, the amount of time I spent on each painting seems to be getting shorter and shorter. And uh, I wanna let you guys know how I'm able to actually do that. And maybe it's gonna help you out in your painting as well. So by now you've probably noticed that I actually started this video in the detailing stage and not with the sketch or the color blocking stage. And that's because I think this is the one stage where I save the most amount of time. I used to actually do a lot of like really high realism renders. I would go in and literally do every single eyelash. I would bring out every single piece of hair and it was just, it would take me hours upon hours and maybe like eight, nine hours at a time to do one single painting. And, uh, you know, I just eventually found that wasn't the most effective way for me to work because it took up so much time. You know, I'm a student, so I've got other things to do, right? So I wanted to like shorten the time that I actually spent on each painting. The best way that I found to do this is by turning all the little details into simple shapes. So I'm going to pull up the reference photo so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. And uh, you, you notice that there's a lot of different colors and different gradients going on in here. And uh, there's a lot of complexity, right? In the hair, you can see like all the loose strands on the side. Now I'm not focusing on any of that. I'm really just trying to uh, turn those gradients and all those different little details into simple shapes. I'm thinking of it as shapes of different colors. And I think this is what uh, really helps me break down the little details so that I don't get too caught up on it. And you can see here, I'm going in with a brush. I'm just experimenting. I'm trying to see what actually looks the best and it's not about looking realistic i'm not necessarily you can even see that i'm not following the reference photo 100 percent but i'm just looking for whatever is the clearest i'm trying to go for clarity and that's the key word here really what it is is i'm trying to say as much as i can possibly say by doing as little as i possibly can so it's like why why say a lot word when few word do trick so yeah, if you want to, you know, speed up your painting, if you want to do something faster, uh, I really recommend trying this technique out. Just try to simplify all the details. Don't worry about the gradients. Don't worry about the smooth transitions. Don't worry about any of the blending and all that stuff. Just go in there and try to find the shapes, right? Try to look for different shapes. You're looking to clarify. You're not necessarily looking to reproduce a photograph. You're just looking to tell a story, you know, by doing as little as you possibly can. And I find that this technique actually saves me from a lot of regret because uh, back when I would used to do super realistic renders, super detailed renders, it would uh, I would post it on Instagram and I would find that the quality has gone down significantly because Instagram compresses all of your pictures. So if that's your main platform, you have to really think about, you know, not everyone is going to be able to see that third eyelash that you added in there just for that final touch you know uh, it's it's sometimes it's literally impossible because instagram turns that into a pixel and on top of that i found that you know unless you're working professionally for maybe like a client or something who needs to see every single detail in your painting possible then i really don't see the need to add in every single little detail because um you know people who are going to be seeing your work uh, if it's on social media, you're going to know that people have really short attention spans, right? So the majority of people are not going to stick around and zoom in all over your painting to look for all the small things that you did. The majority of people are going to be scrolling past and they're going to see your post and be like, oh, that's nice. They give you a like and then they move on. Now you might be saying, uh, but Sam, I can't do this. Uh, I just, my brain just like gets so caught up on the small details. I just have to go in there. It's like, I have to force myself not to do it. Well, you know what? There are some ways that I've actually... Um, employed myself to be able to do this more effectively because I'm also a perfectionist just like the rest of you guys I want to put the details in there you know like I want to overdo things and, and I overthink things a lot so what I usually do when I'm painting is I would actually set up like a timer for myself and that timer just next to my painting just constantly ticking down it's telling me to keep moving and i think that's what's really important about it that's the whole purpose that i set up a timer for myself it's not to like you know give myself a time limit like i have to finish within two hours it's basically to tell me that 
I should just keep moving. It's like a constant reminder for me to keep my hand moving and keep going and working throughout the entire painting and moving from area to area and not getting caught in one spot for too long because um, that's what I find that actually, you know, wastes the most amount of time for me personally is like getting stuck on one area and not being certain about it and just going over it again and again and really not making a whole lot of progress for the amount of time that I actually end up spending on it. And being constantly on the move and having this really quick painting pace I think also translates directly into the marks that I leave behind on my painting and uh, it like creates this much more effortless and natural kind of look to my shapes and again this all goes back to you know simplifying your details into shapes and you're gonna see me work on the necklace here so I have the timer going on you know I'm trying to not stay in this spot for too long and normally you could go in there and add in all the little like shiny glitter and all that stuff but I, I'm not worried about that right so I'm going in literally one single brush stroke for each jewel and I'm creating like that illusion of that shininess by adding a brighter color in the middle and a slightly more dull color towards the side where it goes around her neck and again you know this is just picking out shapes of colors and just throwing it on there and not worrying about it and moving on to the next thing as you go and just to be like a hundred percent real with you guys you know just simply doing the steps that I'm outlining here today isn't actually necessarily going to make you faster immediately. Uh, it's not going to make your art look <laughs> immediately like what I'm doing right now, but um, that's because I actually did a lot of photo studies uh, in order to try to understand the forms of whatever it is the subject that I'm drawing. So uh, again, if you're trying to um, uh, go for something like this, if you want to eventually be able to simplify things really easily, I highly recommend you do a lot of different studies and try to understand whatever it is that you're drawing because that's going to help you out a lot. And uh, these tips are just here to you know kind of boost you a little bit but they're not gonna like bypass your practice and your own understanding of whatever it is that you're drawing and uh, if you're somebody who just loves doing photorealistic stuff if you just love doing the, all the small details and taking your time with your paintings then feel free to ignore all my tips because they're probably not gonna help you out that much um, and honestly if that's what you like if you just like to sit down and take your time and be a therapeutic with your art like go for it as long as it makes you happy everybody does art their own way so um, as long as you're creating that's all that matters uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys kind of how I do these in under an hour and a half and two hours so yeah I hope you guys like this video I'll see you guys on the next one